Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I, I enjoyed the last run so much. I thought, why don't we run it back a little bit? Uh, and I'm being straight up with you. It's just been, it's, it's been a good time. Why don't we run it back as Isaac? I mean, we, we killed Uber Mom last time. I got uh, a granola in my throat for one. I got no idea what we're going to do this time. Uh, and that's okay. It's okay for now, at least. Somebody on the subreddit did link uh, a, a random generator, uh, like a Super Isaac randomizer that I'm going to take a look at. I mean, I'm sure it's, you know, it, it doesn't need to be vetted by, like, cybersecurity experts or whatever. I'm, I'm sure it's just, like, you know, random character and uh, exit. Not to trivialize the amount of work that went into it, obviously, but uh, hey, long story short, it should only take, like, 12 or, you know, maybe 72 hours to vet it and make sure that it's good to go. Uh, and maybe we'll use something like that in the future, but again, I'm kind of... Uh, it's a good item, man. It's a good item. Um, but f for the time being, I'm kind of uh, enjoying being a little bit undecided, honestly, and just, you know, taking this opportunity to, I guess I would say, familiarize myself with, uh, you know, the enemies that can show up at any given time. You know, the flow of a run, if you want it to go alt path, is there a reason maybe, you know, early on you might consider it Smart to go alt path so you can get that double item room or at least, you know, double the options. Uh, and then maybe move on to something, to a more traditional sort of outlook after that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the alt path is kind of like that phase you go through in college where you're like, no, all of a sudden, I think I'm going to be like a, I think I'm going to be a roadie for the flaming lips. And then later you're like, nah, I think I'll just be like an investment banker or something, you know? I, I don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. That's what I'm trying to come to terms with. Um, but something is gonna happen, you know? We're gonna make some sort of, uh... Well, let's not build it up too much. <laughs> I was gonna say some sort of concerted effort to make like, you know, an entertaining meta envelope to wrap the content in. But not today, because it's the weekend, man. I'm, it, it's my off day. Which is still a little on, but it's still, you know, it's fun. It's a very low-key weekend this weekend, because uh, my wife got her dose too. She's feeling the effects a little bit. Managed to carve out a little Isaac time. And after that, I will uh, recite some children's books. For example, one scaly jungle friend is playing in the lake. His pointy teeth are very sharp. His tears are always fake. Who is it? It's Crocodile. Snap. Someone's long and dappled neck is stretching to the sky. She wants to reach the juicy leaves that grow so very high. Who is it? Just shout it out if you got it. It's Giraffe. Munch. <laughs> It, that's uh, a, a little pop-up book called Noisy Jungle. I don't mean to get DMCA'd there. I'm I, I, merely it's a review. This is transformative level criticism. We'll pick that up. Um, I mean, I, I genuinely think we actually should go one floor alt path. It's hard to say uh, early on whether the run is good enough to keep going on the alt path. And the, the predominant reason there is because of the fact that, uh, I mean... We, we only have, like, two items. Wait, wh why would you go that way? You should go this way. Um, we, I, I do think that at least just coming down to the alt path, like, there's, there's obviously an inherent risk involved there. Um, but I also think that over time, it, it stands a, a reasonable chance to make me a better Binding of Isaac player, and, and I'm being legit there. Like, even right now, I'm, I'm not falling into old, like, you know, Afterbirth Plus, bad habits, one might say. Like, look at this. Taking the opportunity to get some Bloody Lust payouts there. We, we may not play the the Devil Room all the way here, but we may. I mean, we, we're already back to full HP. We can do this without compromising our deal with the Devil. We got 14 cents as a result of our, our hard work here. Maybe calling it hard work is a little bit of a misnomer, but... <laughs> We also have wild card. If we don't like what we got um, from our item room, we can re-roll. That's Pisces, which is... Uh, I, I kind of dislike the knockback, but I think another tiers up is probably good enough. Yeah, plus 0.5 from 3.5. It's like a... 
One seventh increase? Oh, come on. In our rate of fire? Dude, Keeper's Elbow is, is a legitimate slam here. That's a, a pack one, pick one pick. All we need to do is create a blood bank. If we create a blood bank, Keeper's Elbow gives us, like, you know, bloody lust for one. Um, or not Keeper's Elbow, but, you know, the blood bag gives us bloody lust damage for one. But then on top of that, we get a little extra sauce off of, uh, you know, whatever we can buy from the money from the blood bank. So, yes. Grab it. I thought it gave us some consumables. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very spicy here, to be honest with you. I, I just don't want to run into the situation where I'm fighting an angel statue. <laughs> that one of, the, one of the only things that could really leave us uh, in the lurch here. We shouldn't. And yet, there I go doing it. Um, I don't want to fight you yet, but we're not gonna get a deal with the devil if I don't fight you. Here's what I'm doing, okay? I think that's worth it. Get the heck out of here. Maybe you decide you can just ignore your deal with the devil uh, on this floor and keep deals with the angel going. Or maybe, like, it, you decide it doesn't matter at all. Uh, and, you know, you're not going to sweat it in the slightest. That was like a plus one damage bonus for buying a red heart. Now that... It, does Bloody Lust scale our damage via... Um, you know, like a scaling factor. Uh, uh, well, I don't even know what the heck this is, man. Um, but what do I mean by that? L like, does it multiply our damage by like, you know, 1.07 every time we get hit or something like that? Or does it add a flat value? Because if it scales, um, then I'm not that impressed with the extra damage we just got. But if it uh, just adds, then that is a, like a, a staggering increase. Well, whatever, we, we paid three cents, we got a damage upgrade. Like, that's... Whether it's one or, you know, like, 0 .08, like... It's still pretty good, man. You lived, huh? <laughs> I thought for sure you were toasted. And we did get a deal with the angel in spite of that. What? That's so... That's weird. That doesn't feel right. Um, modeling clay, I guess it gives you a different... Uh, consumable on every or a different trinket on every room yeah I, I don't know how to uh, I mean that's cool except for the trinkets that you know kill us <laughs> which are numerous they are myriad trinkets that actually uh, more or less just endeavor to kind of ruin whatever kind of tranquility you set out on the other hand you know who dares wins right we got a pretty sizable, uh, positive run going here. It's really up to us. I mean, at, at this point, it's hard not to, uh, continue on the alt path, though, right? I mean, like, look at what we got going on here. Uh, we definitely should have played the confessional instead. We def- Oh, th oh, thank you so much. Feel blessed. Greater angel chance on this floor. Mission already accomplished on that front, but sure. Okay. Um... I'm willing to try just because you're you're kind of the new kid on the block here. Oh, we did take a uh, gulp. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't manage to gulp anything. Um, perhaps a second secret room. One more bomb. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save it. We're gonna we're gonna get spicy. Will we get the knife piece? I haven't decided yet. Might be one of the reasons I end up uh, maybe deciding to go with a randomizer application is is honestly because you know I might find myself in a position where I, I, I'm not saying I'm the greatest gamer in the world but you know uh, they made this alt path like oh it's gonna be so hard only do it when you got a great run and like here I go doing it like all the time easily winning leveraging all of our available advantages uh, towards it so maybe like it would be nice to have the opportunity oh another 9 out of 10 item snooze um, maybe it'd be nice to have an opportunity, like a good excuse to not have to do the long path, and instead I could just be like, ah, you know, let's just run it to like, you know, hush today. Let's keep it simple. Don't do the voice. <clears throat> anyway, how's my, uh, my weekend? You, you already heard about it. Uh, it's like, it's mighty low key. Not really getting up to a whole heck of a lot, uh, like at all. 
I'm relatively anecdoteless. I got I got very little going on. I took the kid to activity gym yesterday. I can't remember when I recorded my video yesterday. It had to be before we went to activity gym. And I gotta tell you that it's like a I know this is a very aww sort of moment, but it's like the highlight of my uh, my week right now. First time I took her. Great item. First time I took her to activity gym, she was very shy, very hesitant. You know, we try to get her to crawl around on stuff, and she starts openly weeping. You know, this is new. There's all sorts of other kids around me. Like, what the heck am I doing? Last week, she was a little bit more like, you know... She's starting to get a little closer to the kids, you know, make some inroads, say hi, stuff like that. This week, she was like... She was going wild, man. It was great. She was climbing, you know, ramps and, and arches and... She went over to another kid. The other kid had like a, you know, pants that on the knees, it had like a cute little mouse. And she was like grabbing onto the the mouse. And the other kid was like, this is the craziest thing I've ever experienced. And I was like, you and me both. I didn't know she could do that. <laughs> I was like, I got to get you a pair of pants like that. And then the dad of the other girl laughed. And I was like, still got it. <laughs> Been inside for a year and a half, still got it. Hey, maybe it's dad humor. On the other hand, you have to acknowledge dad's very lucrative demographic to be funny to. If you can be amenable to the dads, they do they do a lot of purchases. They have a lot of economic heft. Advertisers are big fans. I could I, I think if I tried hard enough, I could be funny to the younger generation, the zoomers. But what's the point? They're just gonna pirate my stuff anyway, even if I get a Comedy Central comedy special. Comedy Central comedy special? Comedy Central comedy special. It kinda works. Plus two, minus two, blah blah yeah, whatever, who cares? Um have a kid, then you'll get it. We're moving on. Um can I tell you something? I I'm gonna I'm gonna voice this upon the game. The alt path is one thing. I'm I'm eager to do it on some occasions. Uh, I don't know because of the curse. I don't know where the mirror is. Uh, I don't know where the white fires are. And if I see them, I will be like you know Elsa from Frozen 2. I can see you, but I won't. If you want me to interface with this mechanic on the regular, it's very simple. Just remove the curses from your. Okay, yeah, I can see you, but I won't. Uh, and we'll just, we'll bounce, man. I mean, I suppose we could go alt path, no knife, but who cares? Let's just keep it a little bit more traditional here. And that's, that's really about it. I do like a guppy chance, but you, you only get one rare reroll opportunity here. Um, I don't know, It's I guess it's probably worse. <laughs> it feels better, but it... I, I have to imagine it's probably quite literally worse. And apart from that, really got up to like very little. I mean, do you want to hear how like I, I, I strained my back? I was, uh, I, I had to put socks on so that I could monitor the baby. So I was sitting on the bed putting my socks on. And then uh, I had the baby on the bed. She's crawling around like crazy. So like every quarter second, I got to bend over and be like, ah, don't just run off the bed. That would be, you know, bad for everybody involved. It would hurt you uh, spiritually, for sure. I think I would be made to hurt on a on a, a level even deeper than that, if possible. I mean, I, I would say it would hurt the baby physically, I should say. I would be made to hurt spiritually. Um, I don't know what you do. Hypercoagulation. I've definitely, I think I've had you before, because I remember the flavor text. Um... But I don't remember what it is you do. And, uh, you know, while that was going on, I, I bent over and I was saying something at the same time. And the shared uh, musculature, I guess, of my midsection, the, the combined difficulty and, and incredible strain of both bending over while also uttering a word while sitting down... Uh, caused me to pull like one of the muscles like my it feels like my left shoulder blades just a little bit like out of whack today um, By the way, can I tell you 
I think it would be disingenuous to be like, uh, that's due to being old. I, 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 look, would a young person suffer a similar injury? A person younger than myself? Probably not. However, uh, if I were in good shape and flexible for my age, would I have suffered this injury? No, equally probably not. So I'm more inclined to uh, blame the dad bod right now. I think it would be a little disingenuous to be like, oh, when you get old, there's absolutely nothing you could do. There's nothing you could do. You're just gonna get, you're gonna get all sorts of aches and pains. You're gonna tweak your back doing nothing at all. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's the nothing at all that's been, you know, more catastrophic to me than anything else right now. <laughs> but you also have a, not only a great excuse, but like a, a large barrier to entry for doing any kind of exercise that is not like, um, you know, taking the baby out for a two hour long walk. And it's a little hilly. Can I add that? It's a little hilly. Like, I'm not saying I'm crushing it from a cardiovascular standpoint right now, but I, I think I would put my my hill walking ability up there with any of the other dads in activity gym. Let's, I, I mean, I'm not saying it has to be a competition. We should all, I, I guess, be uh, a little bit more engaged in commensalism where we can all benefit at no cost to each other. I'm just saying, if it came down to it and it was like whatever dad gets to the top of this hill fastest without engaging in running, because that would be unfair to me, uh, gets a free one-month subscription to Activity Gym, then I would be like, you know what? Look at these calves. I think I got you. I think I, you might as well just stay here. No, no, no. Why don't, you, why don't you do parachute and bubble time? I got it. So anyway, that's my weekend. It's largely making things up uh, in my head, as usual. <laughs> Something like that. Playing a little Pokemon Unite. I'm happy. Uh, uh, very fitting. Very fitting here that we got the clown outfit as soon as I said that. Um, I'm, I'm happy uh, to report. Oh, that's well, that's how hypercoagulation works. Yo, that seems potentially great, actually. Is this a... It's not a secret room. It just kind of looked like a question mark there. Um, happy to report that in uh, Pokemon Unite, I have graduated to, like, great class 2 or something like that. I uh, am out of the beginner class in ranked and have now made it to the point where, uh, you know, at the, when I was in the beginner class, I had some games where I was like, teammates are being a little goofy. Now I have made it to the point where uh, every single game, I, I wish there was a text chat so I could just type like, oh my god, what are you doing? You initiated it, then I came in, and then you bailed to farm up one of those like iPoms. Well, I was in there, you know, delivering CC, and you're my DPS, so I got no damage potential. I just got, you know, a little discrete burst damage via these stuns and stuff. Um, so, what what happens is that, you ever, you ever hear about the idea that you, uh, in, in like a corporate environment, what, what a champion, by the way, that was a nasty enemy. In a corporate environment, there's this principle that you're basically promoted until you're incompetent. I, without even hearing it, I already know people are going to be like, so true, bestie. But <laughs> that's a good item, too. Although I'm, I'm just trying to use uh, magic skin on our uh, on our secret room, if possible. I can't believe I was not hit. It Our secret room will exist somewhere. I knew that was common. Dude, we got to try to... Like, hypercoagulation, it seems like we could really use it well, right? Like, with uh, bloody lust, I should say. But anyway, um, and and the idea, maybe it doesn't make sense until you think about it for a second, but I, I, I genuinely think it is very understandable. When you're good at your job, that correlates, maybe not one-to-one, -one, but positively with being promoted. You get promoted to a job with more responsibility. Maybe it's a little bit harder, but you, you eventually, like, you know, mature into the role. You get better at it. Uh, you know what? I'm loco, man. Why Why shouldn't we? Reroll your whole run. Don't even realize where you stand. Buy something like this. Uh, I don't even know what the Empress does. It gave us full HP. <laughs> so that's fine. Does it reroll our whole floor? No. That's good. I mean, we honestly, we could use magic skin even more and just abandon the D6. We could reroll the D10, but 
as soon as you get missing though, like things become a little bit secondary. <laughs> like you, you you lose some of that impetus that I think you might have had to to make sure you got the whole run going just fine. Anyway, long story short, eventually you, you keep getting rewarded with promotions until you reach a job that you suck at. Um, and then as a result, you are just, you know, at any given moment, if you look at a corporation, you, you got people excelling in jobs that are, you know, suited to their standards. And then their superiors are people that maybe used to be at that level, but uh, have been promoted to a job that was a reward for them, but they don't possess the necessary skills to uh, excel in. Think of yeah, a, a great example from fiction, at least, would be, you know, like Michael Scott, apparently a, a fantastic salesman at the Dunder Mifflin Paper Corporation, gets promoted to manager, doesn't know how to deal with people, you know? D doesn't know how to deal with the, uh, corporate. Would it might have been better off just being uh, at the uh, at the sales level. Now, this is the part where I then go, I forgot how I found myself on this topic. Was it something to do with magic skin? <laughs> was it something to do with uh, activity gym? I don't know. You know, but it, it was it was fun while it lasted regardless. Good bit. I'm happy with myself for the Michael Scott anecdote. I think it's very relatable, very fitting. Do I wish that I didn't re-roll this run? Right now, yes, but like in the long term, not necessarily. You know, there's no way to know. We, we added a little spice here because over the course of Repentance, there have been some comments that, oh, I don't take damage from spikes. Uh, why? Maybe modeling clay gave us anti, maybe it gave us callus for this room? Nope, I don't think so. I have no idea why we didn't take... <laughs> Why we didn't take damage from that, to be quite frank with you. Uh, a deal with the devil, which says it's a 100% deal with the angel, but sure, okay, you know. It's a weird time. <laughs> uh, I think, you know, keep in mind, everything gets re-rolled anyway. I'm like, why not just take both? Uh, and then we're, our whole floor is going to get re-rolled in like, you know, five seconds. So what I'm going to do, maybe get some spirit hearts. But I'm also like, why not use magic skin in the secret room again? Get dad's ring. Probably, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're going to leave it on the, we're going to lose it on the next floor anyway. Uh, but I, I feel like by using magic skin like this, we're giving ourselves a better chance to get items that maybe we've never seen before. Also, we still have magic skin. How about that? I'm also wondering, maybe we got two guppy items? I, I, I think it's possible. Might count. I, I don't really know what's happening on this run anymore. It's enough for me to just know what's happening like in my own household. So trying to keep an eye on a run where we, we have a random trinket every single time and also uh, we re-rolled our entire run and then it will continue to be re-rolled every single floor. I'm just gonna, you know, live my life. I'm gonna take it one day at a time. Like that uh, soap opera, one day at a time, which I've never seen. Oh, you don't like soap operas, but uh, you've seen everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Okay, good one. You can feel free to use that against me. I'm I'm proud of myself for coming up with it. No one can wound you like you. You know, you, you know where it stings the most. What? A, did you see that shot? We like punched him from a, across space and time. Okay. I'm just gonna dodge and shoot. How does that sound? It sounds good to me. I am not going to use this here. I have to be a little, you know, just modestly conservative in the way that we approach this. I don't mind using it on a deal with the devil, but I think a secret room is definitely like the number one play. Also, again, probably some stuff in there I've never seen before, but I also do think we need some HP if possible. Uh, okay, so this is exactly what we want, actually. Binge Eater is freaking sweet. You can either, you can get the item or you can get the HP, but if you get the HP, it gives you a stat bonus and like a temporary damage up. Um, I have no idea what we should be taking, because again, I think it all gets re-rolled every single floor. 
Even like our our HP, I think gets rerolled. Our spirit hearts might stick. I, I had a very like Atlantic Canadian accent there for a second. Our spirit hearts might stick around. Not a good accent. I apologize. People have been very, um, very insulting towards my Scottish accent. Which I have to say, I think it's okay for me to do because my fellow Canadian, uh, my fellow Canadian, Mike Myers, has been doing it for 20 years and at no moment has he, has it been suggested that he be cancelled for doing a Scottish accent. And I mean, like, some of the Scottish accents were just him, you know, being a Scottish guy, but... Fat bastard is like a is a genuinely. I mean, I wouldn't want that character associated with the accent of my my proud nation. But it seems like people in Scotland are okay with it. So I'm gonna venture out here into the world of you know canceled comedy. <clears throat> you ready for this? Get ready. I. It's too damn hot. See, I think that's pretty good. And when I say that to, like, other Canadians, they're like, whoa, it's like Mike Myers is in the room with me. And I'm like, it's just me. <laughs> but Scottish people do not seem to think that that accent is very authentic. What the heck is this? I have to, that's, I'll tell you one thing, that's an item I have not seen. TM trainer zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
They're not real. So I don't know if magic skin actually has any impact at all. I do. Wow, that's a that's a kick in the face. We've got uh, two key beggars, or you know what it was? We do not have two key beggars. We have um, box of friends is located within the miasma of of our spacebar item somewhere. <laughs> This run is better, but, like, uh, HP is a, in a bit of a precarious position. And we can't really, uh, we can't really do anything about it, honestly. We are... Do you think we have, um... Compost? I don't think we have compost. Wow, that was a whiff. Um... I just, I... It seems like we've generated more flies than I would have expected, I guess. Start here. There's a two of hearts. Um, you know, let's make sure this run wasn't a complete waste. There you go. One one penny thrown into the donation machine. You know what? Keep the change. <laughs> Naively, I still kind of think we can get our way out of this one. But I do have to recall, um, we don't actually like know where this run's going from a power standpoint because we re-roll it every single floor. So, unless we can get... We have to try here. Unless we can get... HP... We, we face a very considerable problem. Thank you for not being bombs. I don't even know... Okay, well, um, it's... I was gonna say, I bet it's bringing us back. Um, but at what cost? I have no idea. I feel uh, weaker than we were a moment ago. Is that possible that we got a soul that killed us and and made us weaker? If so, a very bold design choice. It, mu it must be stated. It was bold enough that we almost got killed by a fly. Let's let's take some defense. Okay, I do not want to be here. <laughs> Neither of your items uh, matters to me. I don't even know how this stuff works anymore. Do we still have Binge Eater? Do we still have TM Trainer? What's going on? We don't. Uh, okay. Health up. Beautiful. I can see forever. Whatever. <laughs> Just give me some spiders, man. Give me some spiders and free my soul. I want to get lost in the rock and roll and drift away. Well, uh, my goal with these runs was to get a little bit more confident, right, in uh, in what was going on in the game. To feel like I learned something uh, and and maybe improved my chances in the future of, of being, you know, not so bad. Not that I... Let's not say it that way, because that sounds overly, like, diminutive, you know? It's like self-hating. Um, but it, of being better, you know? Could always be better. When the mood strikes you, it's a great time to lean into that motivation, I think. Here, I think we have uh, reversed course on that goal. I feel like I know less about the game. However, I'm having a, a great time. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sure. Thanks for the HP and the tears and all that. And then, uh, I don't know. Here we are. I don't know what else you want me to say, quite frankly. Weird. At least we know where we're going. It's also very strong. So uh, we have more than just knowing where we're going. This is this run's got some serious killing power. Then again, we do have one and a half HP. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh, but you know what's not a bummer? Killing everything in a room within like a second and a half of walking in at the latest. That stuff seems to be working out pretty well. Yo, we also have Dirty Mind. I have no idea. I, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I have, like, no... <laughs> we can't. We, like, they might be fun. But I think, like, taking one, we probably wouldn't die. 
but it it would from an optic standpoint it would look like a throw. If we said, "Hey, we got one and a half HP and no means to get more," you know what I'm gonna do is uh, what the heck was that? <laughs> Sounded like the the cat tree starting to bust here. Oh, I think it was just the the cat's hitting the Venetian blinds a little. <laughs> Yeah, those blinds, oh, you like them? They're from Venice. I, they're designed, at least, I think. I don't know how that works. I only found out what a Venetian blind was, like, uh, I don't know, probably, like, less than six months ago. I just call everything drapes. Anyway, we would have maybe not died. It turns out we definitely wouldn't have died. But it would have looked like we were trying to die. So I think we made the, the right decision. Uh, and let's go up. I mean, our HP, is, it, it does not appear to really be refilling. We do occasionally have a times one extra life. This is a much worse uh, situation to be in. But at least we have the poos. I really thought they would be dead by now. <laughs> There's no world in which we make it through this floor. So I'm, by the way, if slash when we lose this run, I'm not going to be mad. Like, uh, I had fun on it. it. It's a very weird one, um, which is something I think that I'm, I'm interested in exploring more in Repentance. We had Missing No, Binge Eater, Magic Skin. Uh, Infamy literally just saved our run. Let's, let's try to... Let's do it proud. So I, I, maybe like one, in the future, one less Zane-based item so I at least know what's happening at any given moment could be, you know, considered, that's a really good trinket by the way, but could be considered something that's maybe worthwhile. Yep. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't know what happened on this run, and if you think you do, you're lying, but I appreciate it. I, I had a lot of fun. It was, it was more of a win than some of our wins. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'm live on Twitch every weekday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., where you can see more like this. Follow me there. Apart from that, appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time. See ya.